Hello and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions. If you have a Bible question for me, and please keep it Bible-related, I will give you the email address at the end of today's broadcast where you can send me your question. I don't promise to have all the answers. I'm not a Bible answer man, but I will tell you what I think. And we have a question today from a listener who writes, Hi, Mike, I have a Bible question. During the New Testament to present day, Jesus paid the price for all sins in the world. So when we ask for forgiveness, God forgives you just because Jesus paid the price. But what about the Old Testament? My guess is I don't think God forgave sins during the Old Testament days and you will be paying the price even if you ask for forgiveness because Jesus didn't exist yet during the Old Testament. That's only my guess. That's what I want to ask you. During the Old Testament days, who paid the price for your sins? And if you sinned against God during the Old Testament and you are asking for forgiveness, does he still forgive right away? That was a good question, very thoughtful question. And this is my answer. Jesus paid for sins committed in Old Testament days, just as he paid for our sins today. He paid for them all on the cross. The Old Testament faithful believed in the coming Messiah, the suffering Messiah, who would pay for our sins. They looked forward to the day that that coming Messiah would pay for our sins. You can read about that. It's stated very clearly in Isaiah chapter 53. So the Old Testament faithful had, who believed the word of God had faith in the Savior to come, just as we today have faith in the Savior who already came. We look back, they look forward. It was still the same Savior, even though they didn't know what his name would be. Now, the Old Testament animal sacrifices, the questioner was absolutely right, did not take away sins. They simply covered them, though, until the Savior died and paid for them. And I think this verse might help explain it for you. It really does sum it up. Romans 3.25, whom God, speaking of Jesus, hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness, to declare God's righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. So God did cover those sins in the Old Testament, and he did not hold the people blamed. He did not blame the Old Testament faithful for their sins, even though their sins had not been paid for. Now, that would normally violate the justice of God, but he knew that he would become a man and pay for those sins. So, in a sense, in a sense, God did not punish the Old Testament people who looked forward to having their sins paid for. Their faith, in essence, put their sins on a spiritual credit card until Jesus paid them off. So I hope that helps. And if you have a question for me, you can send it to scripture verse by verse at gmail.com. That's scripture verse by verse at gmail.com. And don't forget, you can study the whole Bible with me verse by verse. There are four series going through the whole Bible at the Bible verse by verse.com. All you have to do is choose, click, and listen. Again, that's at the Bible verse by verse.com. And thank you for joining me for Coffee Break QA.